Take a look. Catalytic converters stolen from the Corbin Senior Center in broad daylight. Today, a new arrest because of a tip from a, a tip from a recycling center may have a connection to those thefts from last week. Catalytic converter thefts have become more common in Spokane and across the country. Spokane police believe these arrests could put a dent in this recent crime wave. Rania Kaur is at the Corbin Senior Activity Center tonight. Rania. Aaron, Nia, tonight you're not going to see a single one of the Corbin Activity Center vans. That's because a sense of security has been lost. But there's also a sense of a relief because of an arrest that was made yesterday. This is what the Corbin Senior Activity Center should look like. Inside the building, you're 100% safe, but I can't guarantee your vehicle. The catalytic converters from their buses have been stolen three times, twice last week. I went straight to social media and said, how can you do this? You're stealing, as uh, one of our board members said, you're stealing from your grandparents. That's who we are. You know, it's like a center of happy grandparents. The 14 passenger buses are used on tours and as a fundraiser for the nonprofit. They don't drive to Coeur d'Alene on their own anymore, but they'll come on our bus and go to Coeur d'Alene. You know, it's, it's these amazing uh, things that you would not think of as an, um, but it affects you when you get to be between 70 and 100 years old. Today, 32-year-old Daniel Gurton made an appearance in court. He's one of two people arrested for a separate catalytic converter case. He's been arrested in the past, and police believe he could be connected to the senior center thefts. This is a small number of people, oftentimes in rather organized fashion, committing these crimes. Crimes and a larger problem a couple of arrests won't solve. And they were celebrating these volunteers, and it's just sickening to me because I the first thing you think about is oh my gosh again again why do they keep doing this Gurton's bond is set for sixty thousand dollars fifty thousand from previous charges ten thousand from this new theft there is a GoFundMe to fundraise for repairs for one of the vans that link will be on our website at kxly.com live in Spokane tonight I'm Rania Core for News Now